thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all you have done. <coughs> I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Thank you, mighty God, for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercies. They are new every morning. Mighty God, as I'm about to go into your words, oh God, I ask you, Heavenly Father, to just be with me, walk with me, journey with me, mighty God, while I read your words. And help all of us to get an understanding from what I am about to read. Thank you, Lord, for these words. They are words of wisdom. They are here to equip us. They are here for our learning, for our, our admonition. So help us, mighty God, that we may put into practice that we have read. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering. While I tell you thanks, in the name of your son, Yeshua Hamashiach, amen and amen. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for your support, always. It is not taken for granted, guys. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna get right into the reading. Today I'll be reading from the word of Joshua, the book of Joshua, chapter 11, and I'll be reading from verse 11. And they smote all the souls that were therein, which with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe, and he burnt Hazor with fire. And all the cities of those kings and all the kings of them did Joshua take and smote them with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed them as Moses, the servant of Jehovah, commanded. But as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Hazor only. That did Joshua burn. And all the spoil of these cities and the cattle, the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves. But every man they smote with the edge of the sword until they had destroyed the sword, until they had destroyed them neither left they any to breathe as Jehovah commanded Moses his servant so did Moses command Joshua and so did Joshua he left nothing undone of all that Jehovah commanded Moses whatever commandment Moses was given he handed down everything to Joshua and Joshua would have obeyed everything that Moses, his leader, told him. And when he obeyed Moses, he also obeyed Jehovah. Whatever commandments was given, he obeyed them. Moses, he followed into Moses' footstep. And Joshua is another Moses. And remember, he was told be of good courage i will be with you i am your strength i will fight for you so here we are seeing that joshua is now another strong leader like moses so he listened to the commandments that moses left that moses got from god and he would have handed it down to joshua and as the word says he left nothing undone of all that Jehovah commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills and all the south country and all the land of Goshen and the valley and the plain and the mountain of Israel and the valley of the same. Even from the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, even unto Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon unto Mount Hermon and all their kings, 
he took and smote them and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. I'm stopping here for today. This is going to be a short one. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for your love, everyone. Thank you so much for always coming back to view my content. I really appreciate you all. Let us pray to close before my phone shuts down. Mighty God in heaven, we want to give you thanks for your word. Thank you, mighty God, for these admonitions that you have left for us. Thank you, mighty God, for sending people to pave the way so that we too can walk the way they have walked. Help us to be obedient unto your words. Help us, just like Joshua, that we will do what you say we are to do. Mighty God, we know that we can't go around and burn and destroy other people because there are no laws. The very same laws that you have left in, in your word, those are the laws that are given over. Only some of them are not adhered to. They are not seen as law. They refuse those. But mighty God, you are the God who has created us all. Help us to be obedient in our ways. Not our ways, but in your ways, mighty God. Help us to be true, be faithful unto you. And in doing so, we will be faithful and true to others. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering. Remember the less fortunate among us and those who are grieving among us. Lift them up. Send comfort for them. Mighty God, provide. Send the hands to provide for those people who are less fortunate, the motherless, the fatherless, the widow, the orphan. Mighty God, help us to be your true disciples. In the name of your son, Yeshua Hamashiach, I pray. While I give you thanks and I say amen and amen. Thank you all for watching. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for coming to this channel, for choosing this channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for choosing this channel always, for coming back always, returning to view my contents. So until next time, guys, until next time, say your goodbyes and I will surely see you all. See you all in another video. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks for all you have done.